Vientos 13 home runs in the minor leagues this year including one yesterday. And he gets this one in the air to center field but Siri should have room on the warning track at the wall and it's out of here. Mark Vientos with the carry two run homer to tie the game. That thing just kept going. Second major league home run. He hits one in his first big league game of the season and gives the Mets the spark they need. This game is tied at two. Boy, did the Mets need that. Now Vientos red hot in triple A. Mets were hoping it would translate. And it just did. Alvarez hits one toward the middle. Franco runs it down and throws him out two away. Hanging slider. Stays inside. He stayed in and he clocked it. Do it. I'll get you going. 13 home runs in Triple A, and now his first of the year in the big leagues. And the Mets get back even. Just well, not really. That, that cleared it pretty good. But Adam struck out Beatty, got Vientos on the pop up, and now here's Alvarez, who's grounded out to short all three at bats. Francisco with three home runs this year tying run at the plate in a 5 2 game with the Mets down to their final out. And Alvarez takes a slider out of the strike zone for ball one. Patience patience patience. It's been the hard part for Alvarez in these RBI situations. Hitting just 150 with runners in scoring position this year. And he drives one deep left field. Back goes Raley. That ball's out of here. And the game is tied. Off the facing of the second deck, Francisco Alvarez brings the Mets back from the brink with a three run homer in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game at five. The rookies have stepped front and center. Vientos a two run homer in the seventh. Alvarez a three run homer in the ninth to get the Mets even. Hanging slider. Fourth home run of the year for Alvarez and none larger. Five to five. Here's Nemo. And Brandon takes a strike. Happy times for the Mets youngsters. 23 year old Vientos, 21 year old Alvarez with the two big blows. And now Nemo takes a change up off the plate, one and one. Well, on a tee right here in the wheelhouse. Down, and he knew he, uh, he hit it. He bought a Ford. Big, big hit. And slider in for a strike to Nimmo, one and two. David Robertson is up in the bullpen, getting ready for the tenth inning if it arrives. Or the Mets have needed this kind of infusion of energy. They've gotten it tonight. And Nimmo goes down swinging and will go to extra innings at City Field. Mets down to their final out, but Francisco Alvarez brings them back. Lindor on deck and then Alonzo to get somebody on and then have Pete hit one out of the ballpark and send everybody home happy. Mets could use a little happiness right now. McNeil swinging and missing at high fastball, and it's two and two. So now it's Alonzo. 
One big swing of Pete's bat and win it. 0 for 4 tonight. And a home run last night. And takes the first pitch slider for a strike, nothing and one. Fairbanks, who throws about as hard as anybody, has really loved his slider in this game. Alonzo drives one deep left field, really going back. It's <laughs> out of here, and the Mets win it. <laughs> the New York Mets the two youngsters kept the minute and the best home run hitter in baseball wins it in the bottom of the 10th with a three run blast into the second deck and the Mets win the game eight to seven in ten. Wow. So many good things happen in this ball game. Kodai Senga got it started with 12 strikeouts in six innings. Mets were shut out for the first six, but Mark Vientos' first day in the big leagues in 2023 tied it up. Mets were down to their final out, and Francisco Alvarez had a three run homer in the ninth, and Pete Alonso ends it with a three run blast to win it. Little cutter. And Pete up to the task. I mean, a bomb. Wow, what a game. Mets have been waiting all year for a night like tonight, facing the best team in baseball. They were on the deck three separate times, and they came back all three. The kids got it done, and the polar bear puts an end to it. Tell you, Brandon Geyer was a master at that. Wasn't he? He would twist away the top half of his body, all the while closing ground to the plate with the leg. Fly ball deep into center field. Series going to go back. He's at the track, at the wall, and that ball is gone. Vientos, just up from Triple A, has hit a two-run home run on an 0-1 pitch. And just like that, the game is tied. I want to see how close Siri got to this one. Here's the pitch. Boy, another backup breaking ball. It stayed middle in. Actually, in on the inside corner. And here is the tracking. Right into that. Ball to Alvarez. Vientos just back up from the minor leagues. Has tied this game. There's a chopper picked up by Franco near the bag at second, and the Ray shortstop throws out Alvarez. And a shot deep into left field. That ball is going to get out of here. A home run on a 1 0 pitch. Alvarez hits his fourth home run of the year. And that will tie this game. Walk, hit batter, and then with two outs on a 1 0 pitch, Alvarez hits the home run, and it's a 5 5 ball game. Well, there are a couple other pitches in the middle of the plate that. We're gotten away with not that one. Well, here's Brandon Nemo and a swing and miss that takes care of Nemo. 
So the Rays and the New York Mets will go into extra innings. A 1-0 pitch to Alvarez, who unloaded the three-run home run. It's a 5-5 ball game at the end of nine. is lifted deep into left. That ball is going to go and the Mets are going to win this game. Alonzo on an 0-1 pitch hits it out and the Mets in 10 innings win it 8-7. to seven. Robertson's going to get the win. Fairbanks will take the loss. And another one of those tough losses late for the Rays. Yeah, th this is brutal. And uh, that's an 0 1 fastball. And obviously, Alonzo was just laying in wait for a heater from Pete Fairbanks. That ball out over the plate, and he was out there in front to meet it and knew immediately. 8-8-0 eight, eight for New York, 5 left, 7-10-0 with 10 left for the Rays. Robertson the winner, Fairbanks will take the loss. And the Rays drop their first extra inning game of the year. They're now 2-1 and one in extras and suffer a tough loss tonight. Dropping their record to 32-12. And, and New York... Now two under 500 at 21 and 23. Those are the first runs that Pete Fairbanks has given up since last July. So the Mets celebrated on the home run by Alonzo.